Yeah. We've got there's a lot of Missouri floating around this week and, and with this game. But mm -hmm. What basketball-wise are you guys focusing on? And, and how hard is that to kind of separate the two and make sure you remember mm -hmm. the other? Um, really, like I was talking about, Sprint Center, just, just taking it game by game. Um, this is just another game, you know, that we're preparing for. Obviously, it's a, it's a big game, but um, we got to take it as a, another chance to get better. Um, Preseason, moving into conference, just getting better every game. Before a game like this, so uh, obviously, you know, there's, there's KB Mizzou and, you know, the rivalry's back up for so long. Mm -hmm. You know, seeing, I asked Chris the same question, seeing the students camp all the week and just seeing all the excitement around campus, what does that mean after last year not really having kind of that marquee environment now yeah. it's back? What does that mean for you? Uh, it's it's really special that it comes this early in the season. Um, all the fans really get to get excited for something that's in the preseason, and um, also a lot that means or it means a lot to to both universities. But uh, it means a lot to the to the fans and the whole program. So it's I know they're excited and uh, we're excited too. Because you got the juices flowing, seeing all the students camp, and, and I, mean, I believe there's almost close to 100 groups. I mean, is that you guys fired up? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that many campers out there for like since I've been here for any game. So it's it's really cool to see that. So what would you say to the people that say that the uh, rivalry has kind of died down a little bit because we haven't played them? It is scheduling. Um, it, <laughs> it's not really our fault that I mean no, they didn't schedule. Mean, do you feel like it? Oh, again. no. Uh, no, it hasn't died down. Um, coach still approached this game and like approached, you know, preparing for this game as, you know, the rivalry that he that he approached, you know, back then 2012. Um, it's still beef between us, even though that we, you know, we haven't played or anything like that. But it still means a lot for both schools, like I said. To, to use his words, uh, is, it, is Coach Selfie juiced? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's juiced. He's amped. That's what you call it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you grew up in Kansas City, Missouri. Mm. So you probably had among your friends growing up Missouri yeah. fans. Yeah. Oh, my first friend when I moved to Kansas City was a Mizzou fan, and I didn't know anything better. So I was sided, unfortunately, with the with the Mizzou fans for a while um, until I started getting recruited, and I was just like, it doesn't matter um, that way. So. It's a rivalry game. I know there's a, just a lot on the line here. So, I mean, I know, I know they're going to show up and play hard. Um, I haven't seen much from them this year, but all I know is, you know, we got to show up and respect them. And um, I know that they're going to come to play. I'm sorry, do you have a favorite in the UK game that you watched growing up and you're looking forward to, of course, making history again every game? Is a part of uh, I actually really never paid attention to the games. I knew they were on, but I don't remember any like significant moment from the rivalry. Um, yeah, no, I don't remember anything. <laughs> what what you talk about getting better every game? What what, what do you think the biggest area that you guys are trying to do that in right now? Defensively, yeah. defensively, yeah. I think that's our main focus. Everyone knows that on the team. Our um, that defense is, you know, what's going to travel, you know, when we're in the uh, on the road in the Big 12, stuff like that. So we're just practicing, preparing for those games. And, and a specific part of that, is there one defensive emphasis right now? Or? Uh, really just, you know, when we get up on teams, um, keeping that lead, maintaining that lead, and um, obviously increasing it. But, you know, also keeping that same defensive mentality because, you know, you can kind of lose that when, everything's up here and you're up by how many points, but, uh, you know, keeping that same focus defensively that we start the game off with, um, whether that we go to the bench or uh, keep the starting five in. So. Yeah, how, how do you work on that? I mean, is it just mental? Yeah, it's mental. Yeah. More than anything, I think it's mental, yeah. Have you talked to Jalen Wilson much? Yeah, yeah. What do you think is how he's doing? I think he's doing really good. I mean, he's had the best attitude. Um, since what he's gone through and all that, but he's just had the best attitude and um, is showing up every single day to just get better. UNCB seem to be dominating things lately. And the Batman and Robin, the dynamic duos. Mm -hmm. Talk about that. Um, no, that's my boy. Uh, I know, I know all the work he's put in. Um, he knows the same thing about me. So we're just kind of feeding off each other's confidence right now. Um, really, just going out there and playing at all time high levels of what we're trying to do. So thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you.